Hey guys, it's iPod Pro here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a Fortnite thumbnail on Paint.net. The first thing you need to do is make a new page and make it 1280 by 720 as that's the resolution of the thumbnail. Next thing you need to do is add a background with triangles poking out from the sides. I've already made this background, but if you are trying to recreate it, just use the shape tool, select triangle, and draw white triangles around the border. Now make a new layer and paste the picture of a Fortnite background. What I did to find this picture was I searched up Fortnite places and this picture popped up. Center this picture however you want and make sure this layer is underneath the background with triangles. Now to make this picture brighter and more visible, click on adjustments and then click on curves. Now bring up the curve in the two places I did and the picture should have changed. To blur the background, go to Effects, then Blurs, and click on Gaussian Blur. Make it around 10 for an optimal blur. To make the triangles look more natural, double click on the triangle background and move the opacity to around 150. For this next step, we're going to add a Fortnite character. First make a new layer on top of everything. Then try to choose a Fortnite character that will match with the background. Make sure the picture of a Fortnite character is transparent. When placing the Fortnite character onto the layer, try to only show the torso as it will make the character very large and easy to see. Now I'm going to add the text. I'm using a font called Kamika Axis. I'll leave a link in the description to download it. If you don't know how to install it, there are many tutorials that will show you how. Make your tile white and around 1-3 to three lines. I would make the initial font around 100, although it doesn't really matter. For this step, you will need a plugin called Drop Shadow. This is one of the best plugins and I'll leave a link in the description for this plugin. Don't worry, it's free. Make the drop shadow black and offset the X and Y like I did on screen. Change the effect so there is no blur and make a larger widening radius. To make the text look cool, go to Distort and then click on Bulge. Now use this effect on every corner of the text. To not bore you, I'll speed up this part of the video. Now, go to the layer with your Fortnite character and do an object outline. Make sure the outline is white and blurry. Do not offset X or Y and just use the settings I showed on screen. For the final step, go to the text layer. Make the text as big as possible without having it overlap with the triangles. And if the quality of the Fortnite character or text is a bit blurry, do not worry as the thumbnail will be a lot smaller on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace.